Hey, William. Hi, buddy. I'm really sorry. I was so busy with work today. I hope you weren't waiting too long. No worries. Hello, a whiskey for my friend here. <laughs> you remember my order? After all we have been through, how could I forget? So, what are you doing in China, William? Sightseeing? China has changed and grown so much recently. I was wondering if there are job opportunities and see if I can improve my prospects. And what have you found? Well, I've been here for two months and haven't found any positions that suit me. Do you think you could recommend something? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help you out. That would be amazing, my buddy. Thank you. Oh, honey, you're still up. You must have been having fun. It seems you lost track of time. Uh, <laughs> William is an old friend who helped me a lot when I was overseas. We had a lot to reminisce about. So, what is he doing here in China? He's been here for over two months already. He wants me to help him find a job. Well, if he wants to work in China, he needs to enter on a work visa. You say he hasn't found a job, so what kind of visa does he have? You're right. Maybe I should ask him. Hey, buddy. What's up? William, what kind of visa did you enter China on? I entered on a tourist visa. William, what is the duration of stay on your visa? The visa only allows a 30-day stay period, but I thought I could switch to a work visa once I find a job. Oh, William, if that's the case, you're in violation of Chinese law. Oh, it's that serious? What should I do? We need to go to the Exit and Entry and Administration Office of the Public Security Bureau as soon as possible to explain the situation. I'll go with you tomorrow and see what can be done. Okay. I hope everything can work out. Officer Xiao Wen, is there any way to make up for William's mistake? According to the Exit and Entry Administration Law of the People's Republic of China, Foreigners whose stay or residence exceeds the duration specified in his or her visa, stay permit or residence permit shall be deemed to be residing in China illegally. The public security organ will impose penalties on him. According to the Exit and Entry Administration Law of the People's Republic of China, foreigners who reside in China illegally shall be given a warning. Where circumstances are serious, they shall be imposed with a fine of RMB 500 yuan per day, with a cap of RMB 10,000 yuan in total, or be detained for not less than 5 days, but not more than 15 days. I'm really sorry. I didn't realize it was so serious. William, when you decide to come back to China, make sure to familiarize yourself with the relevant laws beforehand. I understand, Zhang Wei. <laughs> 